Hello, everybody. Disney surely has the best theme parks in the world, and a lot of people regard a trip to Disneyland as a dream come true. As much as Disney impresses people from all over the world, there is more than meets the eye when it comes to their parks, whether it be Disneyland California or Disney World in Florida. There's always something you don't know. 10 Best Kept Disney Park Secrets painted every night. The hitching posts on Main Street are painted every night. Another small piece of evidence, the attention to detail in the parks. Each night, the highly touched hitching posts are stripped and repainted so they look fresh the next morning for the next round of guests. In fact, the starting time these posts are painted is based on the humidity and temperature to ensure they're dry in the morning and no one gets sticky fingers. Hidden Mickeys The next time you're stuck waiting in line for a ride, look around and try to spot Mickey Mouse. Chances are you'll find him somewhere. There are thousands of hidden Mickeys everywhere you go at Disney parks, and there are 1,250 at Disney World Orlando alone. Usually they take the shape of three circle Mickey silhouettes and are snuck in by Disney staffers called Imagineers who build rides and other parts of the park different speeds. The teacups spin at different speeds. You would think that every ride within the theme parks would work and flow at the exact same speed. Designed to give a fun experience for all, pick an orange teacup with diamonds if you want to spin fast and a pink one with hearts if you want to go slower. Who would have thought? Although it does make sense. Having such colors as pink to represent slower and orange or red to represent faster speed. Funny conversation. Walking through Disneyland, it's fair to say it's a magical place. Although there are many things that make Disney parks even more special. Some of those things behind hidden gems include walking along Main Street in the Magic Kingdom Park, walking through the gates and under the train station. When you look up to see Cinderella's castle, you'll notice a hat store. Inside, there's an old-fashioned telephone. Pick it up and eavesdrop on a funny conversation. Secret restaurant items. Several restaurants throughout Disney parks have secret menus they'll bring you as long as you ask for it. For example, Cove Bar at Disneyland has a secret drink menu with cocktails like the Fun Wheel cocktail and the Neverland Tea on offer. And in Disney World, there are secret nachos at Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe at Magic Kingdom. It serves six to eight people and costs a whopping $85. Restaurant workers have to escort you to a special table to serve you the nachos, which come in their own covered wagon. Handmade. Believe it or not, all the costumes at Disney parks are handmade. Hand stitching and fabrics relevant to a specific period in time is used to create authenticity. To add, gold thread is used on relevant costumes to create a special sparkle. This not only gives each character extra pride in what they're wearing, but rings true that attention to detail is everything. There really is more work put into costumes than at first thought. Disney surely puts more effort into everything than any other park franchise every 30 steps. Believe it or not, there is always a trash can within 30 steps. It's been said that Disney was disgusted over how dirty theme parks and festivals were. He made a point to watch how far people carried trash before dropping it. The magical number? 30 steps. So the next time you're at a Disney park, take notice of how far in between the food store and the nearest trash bin. Chances are, it'll be exactly 30 steps. A great way to keep the parks clean as well as being convenient for park goers chicken exit. Too scared to go on a ride? Find the chicken exit. If you go to the front of the Tower of Terror line and have a change of heart, don't worry, there's an exit for you. Jill Safro, editor of Burn Bomb's official Disney guide, calls them chicken exits, which are available at rides for people who change their minds at the last minute. There's also a child swap section, which isn't unique to Disney, where families can stay in line together, then one parent can ride the ride while the other takes the kids aside, and then the grown-ups can swap so they both get the experience. Fictitious Companies Walt Disney created fictitious companies to purchase the property for Disney World. Why? To help disguise the intention of his grandiose plans. Today you can find the names of these fictitious companies like Tomahawk Properties, Compass East Corporation, and Bay Lake Properties throughout the park, cleverly disguised as store and shop names. Who'd have thought that there'd be stories like this behind the shop names? Something is very clear, there is much more to Disney than meets the eye no gum. We don't know whether or not you've ever noticed, but none of the Disney shops sell gum. This isn't an accident by any means. This is just another way to help keep the park clean and free of gum being stuck to its masterful piece of streets and rides. Smart idea to keep the park gum free. There's nothing worse than stepping on a piece of gum and having it spend 20 minutes and having to spend 20 minutes scraping it off. Although what happens when people bring in gum from outside the park? We guess they stop it entirely. 
Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also support our channel by subscribing for more videos every day. Have a great day, everyone.